Hello everyone, this is the second video of the anti-aliasing settings comparison for Mass Effect 2 a lot. And this is the two times sparse grid super sampling for both the transparency and the regular textures. You can see that it doesn't look quite as well in this case, for example, for the console, but it does look quite a bit nicer here. So you don't see such jagged edges. Um, we go to the Normandy. Generally what I noticed with sparse grid super sampling is that it tends to blur things a lot. So, for example, keep this area clean. It really doesn't look good. There's very clear, strange, blurring artifacts around it, and it just uh, hurts my eyes just to look at it. The circles have this very weird zigzaggy line effect, of all things. Also, more visible when the angle is like this. And this looks a bit better when looking straight at it, but you cannot really look straight at the whole thing at one time. And even bigger problems arise when you look at the lockers here, because instead of just having a single pixel wide line with white dots, now we have like two, three pixel wide artifacts, especially when at an angle like this. It's really weird. And it really doesn't look good because it kind of distorts everything at all. If you look at the edges of a table, if you look closely at it, you can see that what this does is kind of blur the edges, so there's like one pixel line off the edge which is of a different color and especially the further edges like above Shepard's head also look very weird because there's one pixel different color pixel line around the edges um, I guess Morton looks fairly okay although there is a bit of shimmerness to it as well, but that's because it's just 2x, so it's understandable. Um, if we look at these signs here, they look a lot better than what we saw before. So in this case it works quite a bit better, but like you saw in the other cases, it works worse. As for the floors, it's has, hmm, I'd say comparable shimmering to what we saw before, and also these weird zigzaggy patterns when at an angle like this. And pure problem with a direct angle like this. So, yeah. Personally, I think I prefer the multi-sampling plus super-sampling approach rather than sparse grid. Uh, the reason why I'm not using 4x sparse grid, which actually makes everything look correct, is because my hardware is not good enough. It's just a GTX 660. And um, this can run at 60 FPS without any problems. Uh, the other one can also run at 60 FPS without many problems, but anything above that turns into a bit of a slideshow, so I cannot really do that. But yeah, so that was the comparison. I'm not sure if this will be useful, and I'm not sure which one you prefer. For the viewers, you can leave your comments which one you prefer, and then I'll leave that one on for the time being. See you all next time. Later.